so the concept is this. We want them to, we want our fourth graders to be thinking like engineers, like builders. We want them to come up with a concept, an idea. We want them to brainstorm with a group of materials. So I'll give all the same materials to each fourth grader. Those materials might include things like index cards, popsicle sticks, pipe cleaners, paper bags. They have to think about how they can preserve a raw egg that is dropped off the roof of the annex. It's probably, I'm gonna say 25 to 30 feet of a drop. And it's definitely not something that you would think an egg could survive. But our fourth graders every year, they, they blow, me, blow me away and really blow my mind with all of the amazing designs that they come up with. So first they draw designs, they think about how these materials might be used, then they practice, they get the materials, they see how the things come together, how the materials can all fit, and then they have a couple of classes to come up with a final design. Sometimes designs are similar, a lot of times they're very different, and we all come down to the annex. Mr. Howarth is nice enough to drop all of the entries for us. I'm down there at the bottom and there's a <gasps> moment when the egg gets dropped and you know the, the child whose it is is naturally chewing on their fingernails nervous and worried and we run over and whether or not the egg succeeds or is successful or cracks I mean we always have an awesome moment opening up each of these contraptions and seeing if the egg survived or not. Lots of yolks are told clearly you know Mr. Nash and it really is one of those amazing things that happens here at Ridgefield Academy it's just it makes us so unique and special. Do you think yours will be successful, and why? Maybe. <laughs> no. You got a no. What do you think, Ben? No, because I did not use a good parachute. Okay. Mine never opened. All right. Yes, Rocket because field. I have extra padding. Okay, Lainey. I mean, I think I have a 50-50 shot. 50-50? Those are pretty good odds. Cooper? Uh, I don't, I, I think I'll survive, but I don't think my parachute will work. But okay. I made a little box of popsicle sticks, so I'm feeling pretty you good. You got a backup plan. I, like I will it. survive. Russell will survive. Alex, what do you think? No, but how are your expectations with sour you are when your egg cracks? So you're going to keep low expectations <laughs> and then hope for the best. I like that. Landon? I think mine will survive as long as it doesn't land in the trash. <laughs> Good to go, it's a nice egg roll. Yeah. Yeah. You must have put something in there like some of that crack hole. paper bag, plastic bag, straws, pipe cleaners, a lot of cotton balls, and glue, and a lot of tape. I used 10 cotton balls, half a paper bag, a plastic bag, um, uh, tongue depressors. When mine started to fall, I was nervous because mine really like wasn't so stable with the parachute, it didn't have much air in it, so, and I'm glad that my eggs are running. And I was thinking mine was gonna be like really um, successful because there's no side and bottom, but it actually stayed in the rubber bands. And mine, and Bobby survived, and I'm proud of it. It was very nerve wracking to see who, like, who's broke and who's didn't. I had an eerie feeling that it wasn't going to work, but it did. I was very surprised. Um, the whole feeling of the event was awesome. Mine was successful, and I didn't feel like my parachute would kick in too much, but it did.